Good morning and welcome to Papa Sue Creative. Today we're going to make a simple basket in Inkscape 0.47 for use with the SCAL software to be cut on a Cricut cutter. I believe that these instructions will work if you're using MTC or any other software for a cutter, but you be the judge of that. Let's get started. I'm going to go to the file we'll be working on. going to be using the polygon tool today and that's this one right here I'm going to select it make sure that polygon is selected and we have five corners I'm going to draw the draw the polygon and then just straighten it up a bit while your mouse button is still down I'm going to do a path union on it select my node tool and I'm going to bring the nodes down, that one node down, until it's just about straight with that dotted line. See so the selection tool and bring this down. And that's the shape I want. You can play with these shapes by dragging any way you want until you get the shape you want. And I'm going to duplicate it and set it off to the side so I don't have to draw it over again if I make a mistake. So now I want this bottom to be more round so I'm going to use the oval tool again and I'm going to draw an oval and I want it to come just to the edges just inside those edges. If I get it a little off, you're going to see it. And it's not too bad, but fool around with this and then undo until you think you've got it where you want it. Now, the more I drag this down, the more round the bottom's going to be. So I'm going to come down a little more. I see this one's still a little inside. Okay, now we've got it. I'm going to select the basket itself and do a path union. So I'm happy with that. Now we're going to make the handle. I'm going to use the basket as a guide for my handle. It'll save uh, some futzing around later. So I'm going to draw an oval. Then I'm going to go up and select this half round and then I'm going to get a hold of this little circle and I'm going to draw it all the way around to the next one. Okay. Get the selection tool and I think that's about where I'm going to want my handles. So that's close. I'll move this out of the way. Move this. <coughs> Now we're going to use this circle tool. Now the circle I just drew with the oval and the size of the circle is going to make a difference and you, after you play with this a while you can adjust your circle. So I'm going to bring the circle over here and it's very important that the circle be on the top level. So a raise to top select the oval, go to extensions, generate from path, pattern along path. Now I've played with this a lot and I found that space between copies at a minus three will help overlap those circles uh, so I don't have to mess with them later and I did an offset at minus, uh, minus ten that seems to work for me. You can play with these numbers. Repeated, stretched, and snake. We're going to select live preview and select that. And beautiful. I am so happy with that. Do apply. Go over here. We can take this out. Select that, do a path, union, 
close this. Do an object flip vertical. Come over here and get our basket. Oh, boy, did I do that good. Perfect. If you love it, we're done. You can adjust, obviously, make your handle a little taller. But I'm very happy with that. Let's bring the uh, magnification down a little bit. So you don't need this, don't need this anymore, don't need this anymore. I'm going to duplicate both of these. Drag this off. Now, on this one, because I want a mat or I want it all one piece, I'm going to select both of those and do a path union. So now I have a one piece cut. On this one, I'm going to leave it the way it is. This one you can fill it with black and make your mat, whichever way works for you. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope this has been useful. And in the next lesson, we're going to decorate the bottom of the basket. Thanks for being here. Please visit me on my blog. There'll be more information there. Bye.